Hi guys, and welcome back to Alpha Prepping. I hope you had a brilliant Christmas and you're having, hopefully, having a fantastic New Year so far. All right, so today's video is going to be, and my favourite thing in the world is the Apocalypse Box. Now this month, which is yeah, this month it's about um, the tiger and it's about winter survival. Now if you go onto um, the Apocalypse Box website, which is myapocalypse.com, there'll be some uh, documentaries on there, and it's called Happy People. You'll also find them on YouTube. And it's about uh, people self-reliant in uh, Siberia or on the Tiger, which is a big continent in there, on the NSA River. And it's all, this box is all based around that. So if you come in closer, guys, we'll uh, show you what we've got. All right, okay, guys. So as, as the same as every month, every, every other month, should I say, you'll always get a contents list of what's in the box. They're saying this month I've got quite a bit in. So, to start off with, this month's theme, it says, if you don't already know, this Apocalypse box is themed after one of my favourite documentaries titled Happy People, A Year in the Tiger. If you haven't seen it yet, like I said, go to myapocalypse.com and it'll be on there for you. Right, so first in the box, we've actually got a Russian Styles Trapper's Axe. Get that out. And I must admit, when I got this out, I was very surprised because this is must have been quite a sweet axe to be honest with you it's a white oak handle and just a carbon steel blade with a kydex sheath but when i got this this was razor sharp well i've used it a bit since just to try it out and this was absolutely brilliant as you can see it doesn't look like a normal standard axe it looks like it's been put on upside down but if you watch the documentaries you'll find this is what the trappers use in the tiger to do all their, their hunting with and any, any general tasks really that they've got but I was well impressed with that right then next we've got which I must admit I've been after for a while is a woolen hat and it's a proper virgin wool watch cap issued by the US state it's government department as seen and I, must admit, I have been trying this out because it's been quite cold in the UK recently and it's been really good. It's kept my head very warm. Right. The next on the list we have a enamel coffee cup. Just basic coffee cup with it's not if but when. And I must admit it's good. It'll be a good strong cup. It's not going to break on you even if you did drop it and chip it. It's nothing's going to happen to it. So I'm very impressed with that. Right. And to go in that I've been looking forward to to try this out we've got some tree line coffee I've seen and what it is it's a coffee bag instead of a tea bag you've got a coffee bag or right, so whip it open see what you mean and all you do as you can see it's just a basic tea bag and you put that on your cup oh put that on your cup well, I don't I think I'll be able to do it now because I've just torn it and then just let it stew for a couple of couple of minutes and then you're good to go with a nice cup of java and also in the box you get a discount code of, of 30% off tree line, which is quite good. And as you can see, if you can see closely on the pictures, it shows you how, how it works. So, look forward to trying that. Okay, now you see when you, when you watch the documentaries that they're, they're all self-sufficient and they always have to look after and repair their own gear. So I think that's why it's been included in this month's box. Household repair needle set. And um, we've got some right beefy boys in here for, for mattresses and straighten up holster needles and all the rest of it. So that is gonna be pretty good to add to your kit. Okay, and next on the list, we've got a minimalist, a two foot by six foot survival net, gilly net, sorry. As you see, that will stretch out to about six foot so when you're casting in a, in a stream or a river, you're going to be able to get yourself some decent fish out of that one. I like saying, as you can see, that is, stand up with it. See that opening up? Let's see how big that gets. So, like I say, with a, with a line run across the top, the weights on the bottom, you should be able to catch yourself at least a fish if you're doing it. So, well impressed with that. Now the good ones I've said before, the good things about these challenges is, these boxes is you get a, a challenge, a skills challenge. And with this one, if you come down and have a look, we've got in the box, it is to make your own, to make your own gilly net. And what they do, 
It supplies you with, just put that out of the way, some string that has no memory to it. So this is like, like paracord when it gets tangled up. It kind of or curls up on itself as this string won't. And what they do as well, if you look coming closer, you'll see you've got two outlines, two blueprints. And usually it's a top one you can use to make your own gill net. And also they do send you a plastic one in. A scene to be able to do it. So that's a repair challenge. And if you go on to YouTube onto Craig Stewart's channel, he will have a, a demonstration video. It's about 30 minutes long, so it's quite involved to show you how to make one of these using the string provided. And it only makes a six by six net, but it just shows you an example of how intense it is and how labor intensive it is to make um, a ghillie net. Right then, <clears throat> on the rest of it, we've got some, we've got pocket field guide of a Siberian deadfall trap. Now this, if you watch the documentary, this is featured heavily in the in the in the episodes throughout because the documentaries are based on a a spring a summer an autumn and a winter and it, and it will give you step by step instructions of how to cut the timber uh, to make the deadfall trap and, and all the rest of it okay well it's a very good guide right then and the last thing in the box we've got is the he sends you out a selection of timber. Right, I'll send you two blanks out and I'll send you out a pre-cut to assemble your own trap. So if I show you like this, right, let's get this sorted out like that. And essentially what happens is you put these, there's a, you've got a base for the wood and you've got a base on top. You put your bait on that and when the animal takes the bait, it releases the spring, they fall off, and then it shuts, shuts down on the animal, whatever you, you wanted to trap as shown. Now, if you're looking closely, you can see there's the actual deadfall itself, and there's the base and the traps inside. So, and the bait on there. So, guys, that's all that's in the box for this month. I must admit, I'm very impressed, very impressed with what we got in here. Because last month, I it was okay, but I do prefer this box, I must admit, because you're getting the trapper's axe in and a few other bits and pieces that I've been looking for myself. So, guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, I'll be absolutely top draw. And if you'd leave, like to leave a comment on it, it would be brilliant. So, guys, we'll bring you back in later.